Greetings app enthusiasts, Justin Z here with a review of the Documents app for the iPad. You can see more about this app at the website below. Documents is a free version of the Microsoft Office suite with limited capabilities. You basically have the ability to write documents, spreadsheets, and make drawings with a few options to communicate with your computer and Google Docs. The Word document has nothing more than the ability to type. You can't change the font, size, paragraph settings, or anything else. It can be used for little more than taking notes. The spreadsheet doc has a few more capabilities, but not by much. You can input information into cells, change font color and cell color, and use basic formulas and functions, but sometimes the functions won't work. The paint document can't do anything but create a line based on where your finger goes, and it isn't even done very well. It shows up in an angular form and limits even the most basic drawings. Setup with your computer is pretty straightforward. You type in the URL on the top of the app into a web browser and you can upload documents from the app to your computer, but unfortunately not the other way around. You can go both ways with Google Docs, but the ability to edit the docs can't be done unless you download first. This comes at an inconvenience since you should be able to edit it directly and see the changes quickly. Basically it takes three steps to use a Google Doc instead of one. I believe in the term you get what you pay for, and that is definitely apparent with this app. You get very few capabilities and next to no flexibility. Top that off with glitches and occasional crashing, and you have an app that needs some serious improvement. If you are looking for a way to take notes or have quick access to previously created spreadsheets, the app might prove useful. Otherwise, it would be wise to spend your money on a much more capable app. I would give this app a 1, but because it's free, I'll give it a 2 out of 5.